Hey, how's it going? Today we are going to laminate the overlay for the control panel and I'm going to be using the matte laminate that I talked about before that has a texture to it so it's not as glossy. It actually has a matte finish and it's textured. It's resistant to scratching. Um, if somebody has a ring on their finger or something sharp, it's not going to cut the graphic like a normal decal. So here we go. Okay, so this is the decal before I run it through the laminator. You can see it has, this is the normal gloss of the vinyl, right? So here is the print. And we're going to run it through this laminator. Now I switched it out. This is a different material. This is the textured laminate. All right, so I'm going to feed this through here. And this is just done with pressure. There is no heat. It's going to go between these two rolls. Once I get it started, I come on this side and it's self-fed. So it's just going to run through applying that material. Okay, now you can see here how it has like a textured look and it's not glossy anymore. So same process as I showed on the marquee. I'm going to use this straight edge to get this nice and cut out perfectly straight. Now this laminate is thicker, so this is actually a lot more rigid now than it was before. I'm not sure what mill this laminate is off the top of my head, but it's, it's considerably thicker. So that's why it's so durable. We're gonna be taking off the side part to put on the new one. And we're gonna be removing this. And this is just MDF underneath. So this is the next step. We're gonna be removing the decal. Okay, so here you can see my dad. He's helped me out again. He's pulling this off. And we're gonna have, we have to heat this up every so often, pull a little bit, and repeat the process. Now we're lucky that the image is coming off clean, so it makes it a lot easier um, not having any residue behind. That's just going to depend. Sometimes you can get lucky like this, and it happens other times not so much. So you see him heating up a little bit at a time, and then I'll repeat. Now there's going to be, this was actually in a couple pieces. You can see that line there. Um, this particular arcade was in three pieces. So there's the other one right there. So this was a three piece, but now it's going to be one when we're done. 30 minutes later, he's still pulling this thing off. So this thing, it's a little time consuming um, and he's just slowly going at it. And the material is really smooth when it's all done, MDF. But there's a couple spots you see there that we're going to have to repair to make smoother and that's going to be the next step that we do. Okay, so this is the spackle that I'm using, sheetrock lightweight all-purpose joint compound. You can get this at your local Lowe's or Home Depot, something like that. Okay, so here we got the sides off and now I'm going to go through and any little gouges we're going to fill. This is a little rough spot here. I'm going to use actually uh, a joint compound, which is basically for doing sheetrock, really fine, thin over the areas that need some attention. Okay, so now you can see the spackling is done on these problem spots. They're really kind of minute, um, just a real thin coat. I did this on both sides. Okay, guys, that's going to wrap this episode up. On the next one, we're going to work on applying the vinyl on the control panel, actually still removing those buttons, and then applying the large decals on both sides. Thanks again for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.